Now, the most useless key on your keyboard is the caps lock key, and I think most people probably agree with that. I'm sure there's probably someone out there that actually uses it for its intended purpose, but for most everyone else, the caps lock key is utterly useless, and I find myself hitting it and not knowing I hit it a lot. And that means that I'm often typing my passwords in, and that's the reason why they go wrong, because they're all in the opposite case than they should be. So today I'm going to be talking about how you disable the caps lock key on Linux. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that really quick because this is a really simple fix. So the way you do this is actually really simple. It's just one line. You do this. So it's set XKB, damn it, caps lock. Set XKB and then map dash option and then CTRL colon and then no caps. Hit enter. And now, if you hit that caps lock button, there is no caps. And if I hit that caps lock button again, still no caps. And then no caps. Now, if you want to change this, you would just do this. Set XKB map dash option and then hit enter. And now if I hit the caps lock button, I have caps lock again. So how would you make this permanent? Well, it's quite easy. If you are on Linux and you are using bash, you could use your dot bash profile file and just put that option, specifically this option here, inside of your dot bash profile. So if I do an ls here, damn it, caps lock is back on. <laughs> so if I do an ls here, you'll see that I don't actually have a dot bash profile because I use zsh. So for me, I could put it in my i3 auto start files. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cd into my repo and then i3 and then them into my auto start file. And now if I put that part here, so it's set xkb, map dash option and then ctrl colon no caps and then put an ampersand at the end so it continues on after that and then if i save this and then restart i3 like so now if i hit a cap slot button i should have no cap lock cap lock again no caps lock caps lock so that's how you would do it and that's how simple it is if you like these really fast really easy linux tips that happen in less than a couple minutes let me know by leaving a comment and a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so because I'm sure I'll probably do something like this in the future. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.